last night in Utah. A game that Mark Dagdahl said had everyone in the locker room really upset after the game, which he loved seeing that. Well, that was something Mark Dagnall talked to us about, J.J., and, you know, how much he loved seeing him take that assignment that after. Kevin Durant is Kevin Durant. You know his name. You know who he is. This is an individual that the game is going to revolve around him. In our meeting with Monty, a lot of the times he talked about getting out of the way. But with Chris Paul playing off the ball, it does take pressure off of him. You know he's a great spot-up shooter and allows Chris Paul to probably be more ball dominant in the fourth quarter. You see DeAndre Ayton with the quality block. He did a great job of taking charge of late in games. The player who's the current record holder he is Ersan Ilyasova. Giddy navigating says, All right, I'll take it. JJ, how about some of the other pieces that he's added as well to try and fill out this team around that central four as Aiton slides in? Guy at times, he's having a very nice shooting season, shooting 40% from three. And it's all, it's, you know, we asked Monty Williams about that before the game. Mark Dagnall told a, a, a wonderful story about Williams that he thought really encapsulated the kind of competitor that Williams is as Aiton spins, can't finish, charge the rebound. And when Williams first heard the three-point shooting in his time at Oklahoma City makes him an extremely valuable player. Aiton able to stare it away from Sharich. The three-point shooting in his time at Oklahoma City makes him an extremely valuable player. Aiden able to stare it away from Sharich. Uh, that's the play-by-play, -play, guys. All right, well, we're using the colleges right now. Kogi to Aiden, plus the foul, and a chance for three for DeAndre Aiden. It is going to be so important for the success of this Phoenix Sun team, as it was... Dort lost it. Aiton comes up with it. Booker back in. Two of eight from the floor is nine points in this first half. Dumps it inside. Aiton turns. Left it short. year when he shot 26 percent his rookie year and, and an improvement from how he started the year as well as Aiton you're doing something right and JJ way to kill that Kentucky Fried Chicken read <laughs> thank you it was my first time doing a Kentucky Fried Chicken read but it was not my first time doing an ad read okay <laughs> Aiton can't hit the hook you've got to be mentally prepared to go to battle when you're Chris Paul's teammate because if you're not uh, there will be some strong words <laughs> as the Oklahoma City Thunder go to zone there. I'm going to say this, and I, and I never played with Chris Paul, so I don't mean to do Is Chris Paul taking a lot of ownership? Does he hit you with a couple of, hey, guys, my bad? For the Thunder after his 39 last night. Giddy, back to the basket, elevates. No, Aiton secures it. So you're going to have to at some point, especially in a playoff series, mix up what you're doing on that pick and roll with DeAndre Ayton. DeMar DeRozan is that one as Ayton pushes it in. When they added Kevin Durant, there was no defensive answer. You could not leave either of those players. It didn't matter. You couldn't blitz. So it just opens up the offense for everybody involved. A oh, great look. Ayton finishes plus the foul. A 10-0 Phoenix run and a chance for more that has cut you know whatever run the other team has done made them right play so this is what they're missing coming off an overtime back-to-back -back loss last night against Utah looking for some help Giddy will back it out Dort looks off the pass and gets fouled on the drive open looks for their teammate that is a night-to-night -night thing that's not on the Oklahoma City Thunder Wainwright and an offensive foul. Open looks for their teammate. That is a night-to-night -night thing. That's not on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Wainwright. And an offensive foul. So you would think that you can help off of them, contest, but they're just shooting the ball too well. 
Dort couldn't tip it in. Sharage gets bumped. And we'll shoot two. Which is in the top three in either conference will not make it out of the first round. There you go. Williams gets fouled, and Oklahoma City right back in this now. I think so because it, it saves you from the situation where someone gets hit on the wrist. It's not called. That's the only reason it went out on them. As Joe can't hit the throw. I think it helps the officials, too, in those moments. Paul leaves it short. Aiton keeps it alive. 